guys, it's Sherelle from Sunny Ray and Creations. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my custom um, fabric for my hair bows. So first you're going to need to get patterns. And I like to use Creative Fabrica. You do have to pay a monthly fee for this website. Um, I think it is originally $29 a month. But you could find sales and promotions where it's $12 a month. I personally pay $12 a month and I think it's totally worth it because you get about 99% of everything up here included with that membership. So you don't have to pay for anything separately. Um, if you do not want to get a monthly membership to this site, you also can purchase things individually. We can make this bigger and so we can see everything we have. Um, and then you're going to go to... I use Photoshop. You can use whatever program you use, but I personally like Photoshop. Um, here is one I already did a layout for my things, for my custom bow patterns. As you can see, I did one with flamingos and unicorns on it. Um, usually, I do two patterns on one sheet because I do only make bows right now. Currently, for my daughter, just for fun. So I don't need a lot of one fabric if you're going to be using like doing a ton of bows for like of the same pattern you could literally do this whole sheet of the same pattern but I'm gonna show you guys how to do a split pattern okay so now we're gonna go and we're gonna do our template so you can go to file new and our template is gonna be 8 by 5 by 11 that's the size of the canvas sheets I get off of Amazon and that's the size that my printer can Print. So make sure if you if your printer can handle larger size paper, then you could do larger size. But my printer can only handle eight by five width, and it can go up to fourteen inches long in length. But I'm gonna just be doing eight by five by eleven because that's the size of my paper. I'm going to create. Oh, you also want to make sure your resolution is three hundred pixel inches. That's gonna make sure your pictures print out really good and not blurry or pixelated so go to create now we have a blank surface so what we're going to do now is we need to create layers if you're doing some old layer new layer and then okay now if you're going to be doing just one whole custom um print just one print on one sheet you're only going to need one layer, but I'm going to be doing two different prints on one sheet. So I'm going to do another layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these layers with white. So I'm going to go here, click white. Then I'm going to go here and click the other layer and fill that with white too. Now we need to decide what prints we want. Um, So this is my list of prints. So I will just come here and I'll find... Some I like. So I think I want to do like, a, like this one is super cute. I think we'll do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to just drag it down into Photoshop. And it's going to open it on a new tab. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to edit. And you're going to go to define pattern. You can rename it if you want and hit OK. And now when I go back to my other thing, my other tab, my template here, if I go to the layer here and I double tap it, it'll bring up this screen and we're going to go to pattern overlay. You're going to check that, highlight it, and then you could change your pattern here. So we're going to check this last one. That's going to be the pattern we just made. Do that. Hit OK. First, we need to move this up so we can actually see it. So that's how that looks and I usually do my pattern size at like 30% so there it is there um, you can also make it smaller bigger um, this one to make a little bit smaller so I can get more giraffe then you hit ok and now we're gonna hide this so we can see what we're doing on the next layer so you're gonna hit this eyeball and you click on this other layer and then you're gonna double click and you're gonna do the same thing. Select a pattern you want. I have to download another one. 
So I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to look for another pattern I like. I think we'll use this one because I think I'm going to try to put her name on it. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that as well. Okay, so now we have two patterns. Now we need to split this paper in half and delete one part of one pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler here and I'm going to just drag down from it. And it's going to have this line and it'll automatically click to the center and you'll select that. So that's our center point, center point of our design. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, select, I'm going to select this bottom half up to that line and then I'm going to come and I'm going to delete the, one of the patterns. Go to delete and there we go. So now we have both patterns. And this is what it looks like. Super cute. Now I think for the rainbow pattern, we're going to put her name through it as well. So for that, you will go here to the text and you're just going to write the child's name out. I know you guys can't see it, but I'm going to come here and change the color to black so you can see it. So that. I'm actually there we go. We got Araya. And I think I probably want it glittery. So I'm going to double click her name. Do a pattern overlay for this as well. And select like a rose gold glitter. I think that will be super cute. Then after you pick a color for her name, you're going to go to stroke here. And you're going to make it as big as you want. And this is basically what the stroke is going to do. Is basically it's going to delete part of the background of the image here. So her name will stand out more. And we're going to change the color to the background of here. So basically white. As you can see, it took out part of this. So it makes her name more eligible. And we're going to hit OK. OK. And basically all you're going to do is keep duplicating her name and putting it, moving it around to where you want it to be. You think I'm crazy, but I know I am. Losing your patience, I already have. Don't try to change me, I'm just the way I am. Don't try to save me, cause I can't be saved. And then once I finish the name, this is how it looks. And now I am ready to print. So I will go to File, Print. I have an HP Envy Photo Printer, um, the 7155. So for my settings, um, for my printer, I put my product, my canvas face down in the printer. And then for my print settings, I do my quality best. And then my paper type is paper is matte because canvas is matte. You don't want glossy. And then we do that and then you just hit print and then it goes and it prints. And I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay, you guys. So this is the canvas paper I use. It's called Vivid Vinyls. And it's the Prime Inkjet Canvas Sheet Pack. This one comes with 20 and it is an A4 size. And it looks just like this. So this is the front of it. And then this is the back. As you can see, the front is white. The back is like a cream color. So when I put mine in my printer, I will show you guys real quick. This is my printer it is a hp and v photo 7155 and for mine mine feeds from the bottom so when i put it in it's going to turn around so i got to make sure i put my canvas paper upside down like so 
and then I close it and then it will start printing and I'll show you guys once it, once it's done okay okay you guys so it finished printing it takes about two minutes to print as you guys can see there's no like rubbing off or anything and it looks so good okay and if you guys want to see how i use this fabric to make my custom bows i will have the link down below for my video on how i make my bows and i will also have it listed up above the video in the i cards um again thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions or want to see more videos like this then just let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye now